What's going on guys, Killer6 back with another Borderlands hotfix video and this time we're taking a look at the hotfix for January 23rd, 2020 and let's just get into the details here. There's not a whole lot here, but some of it's pretty substantial regardless. So first and foremost, they updated the texture for the incendiary badass and super badass Varkin. Now I thought that they had done this last week. I don't know where I saw that, but I thought they did this last week. Uh, this, in my opinion, sounds like it might be like the precursor to something when Involving the evolution of Arkans, perhaps. Who knows? Hopefully, we see something about that soon. Who knows? Uh, adjusted chest rewards at the end of Proving Grounds to be more rewarding to all tiers of completion. With more players running the Proving Grounds for dedicated loot drops from the bosses, we've noticed the chest not rewarding players as much as we intended. We've boosted these chests to reflect the effort players must take to complete the objectives. Completing all of the objectives gives the best legendary drop rate and skills down accordingly. So, therefore, the faster you complete the Proving Grounds, the better your rewards are going to be from that chest. And I would assume that we're going to get some pretty decent anointed rewards as well. So, when you consider that a run of the Proving Grounds can be pretty lucrative, especially with the bosses having, uh, you know, specific drops that you can only get from them, and then also uh, the chest, and uh, you're going to run into some badass enemies and such along the way, the Proving Grounds could actually be a lot of fun for you guys now. So, that's good to see them, you know, doing something to, like, you know, better incentivize the Proving Grounds uh, because it feels like not that many people were running the Proving Grounds and I actually I really like all of the Proving Grounds maps I enjoy going through those so this gives us even more reason to do that all right now here is a big one they have increased the bonus radiation damage while Gamma Burst is active from 65% they bumped it up to 115% a 50% increase and they said, we're happy to see the response to the boosted anointment bonuses we released last week after additional testing. We also want to boost the effects of Gamma Burst anointments for Flak. Now, if you don't know, Gamma Burst Flak is actually really good already. So them increasing this makes Gamma Burst Flak even better. So it's going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, how that changes the way everybody builds out and plays their Flak now, because that could be a lot of extra damage. All right, now in addition to that, they've also addressed several progression blockers. Um, I'm not going to dive into those um, other than to say that, uh, you know, I'm glad that they find these problems, they fix them. And again, if you have any kind of problems that you want to submit to them, please go to support.2k.com, submit your ticket. If the, if people don't report things, then it's likely that they'll just never know that a problem exists. So make sure you report those uh, as needed. So... Uh, pretty short and sweet this week. Not a whole lot in there. Uh, we do know that they have, uh, it seems like they've postponed the Borderlands show because I think that was supposed to happen yesterday, but I don't know. They haven't told me anything definitive. Uh, once I know about the Borderlands show, I'll let you guys know. Uh, so hopefully we get that soon and then maybe that'll have some more information about future content, maybe upcoming DLC stuff. We'll just have to wait and see. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please take a second, hit that like button, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Short, sweet video this week. Sorry. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see y'all next time. Take care.